Hi there. When it comes to the data, then securing the data is one of the most important and challenging tasks. But how to secure our data? Well guys, multi-factor authentication is a way and a process with the help of which you can add second layer of security to your data. And then you can prevent hacking of your data or unauthorized use of your data. But what is multi-factor authentication and how to use it? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna let you know everything about multi-factor authentication. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. What is it? That means, what is multi-factor authentication or MFA? Multi-factor authentication or MFA is a security process in which a user provides two or more authentication factors to verify their identity. It is very important to secure the data and if you want to secure your data from unauthorized users, then you need to apply multi-factor authentication or different layers of security. Multi-factor authentication is one of them. MFA helps to ensure that a person attempting to access a system or data is who they claim to be. That means your system can recognize who is that user and helps to prevent unauthorized process. If you only use a password to authenticate a user, it leaves an insecure vector for attack. That means anybody can use either your password or they can crack your password and they can access your data. If the password is weak or has been exposed elsewhere, an attacker could be using it to gain the access of your data. When you require a second form of authentication, security is increased because this additional factor isn't something that's easy for an attacker to obtain or duplicate. Now let's see what are the different authentication factors. Well guys, over here you should remember that Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication works by requiring two or more authentication methods or the factors. So let's discuss what can be those. Whenever you are considering authentication factors, their one can be something you know. That means typically your password, pin or maybe a security question. Second would be something you have. For example, you have a trusted device that is not easily duplicated like you have a phone or a hardware key. Or it can be something that you are. That means it can be biometrics like your fingerprint or a face scan. In general, we can use Microsoft Authentication app and we can add our username or their so that we can use it as a MFA. Now question comes, why do you need it? As we know that there are more and more attacks are happening across the world on the data. If you really want to prevent those unauthorized access attacks or maybe unauthorized people to gain access to your data, then you need to increase the security of your data. And this MFA, that means Azure Active Directory Multi-Factor Authentication is one of the way to do it. Azure Active Directory Multi-Factor Authentication can also further secure password reset. When users register themselves for Azure Active Directory Multi-Factor Authentication or MFA, they can also register for self-service password reset in one step. And what does that mean? That simply means that you don't need to ask your IT team or maybe system admin to reset your password. Generally, whenever your admin is setting up one account for you, then you would receive another pop-up on your screen when you are going to complete your registration that you need to set up one MFA. And when you are going to do that, then you are going to get similar to the screenshot that you can see on your screen. And then you have to scan a QR code and then you can add that account into your Microsoft Authentication app. Now let's discuss what are the available verification methods. In Microsoft Azure, when user signs in to an application or service and receive an MFA prompt, they can choose from one of their registered form of additional verification. User can access their My Profile to edit or add verification methods. And on your screen now, you can see some of the multi-factor authentication methods that are available for Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Now let's see the working of Azure Active Directory MFA. That means how actually it does work. You can use security defaults in Azure Active Directory tenant to quickly enable Microsoft authentication for all users. If you are the system admin, then definitely you can do that. 
As an admin, you can enable Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication to prompt users and group for additional verification during sign-in process. If you would like to get more granular controls, you can use conditional access policies to define events or application that cause MFA. And what are the conditional access policies, how to define them, probably we are going to get to know in some another video, not on this video. These policies basically can allow regular sign-in when the user is on the corporate network or on a registered device, but prompt for additional verification factor when the user is remote or on a personal device. Whenever you are traveling for business trips or maybe you are working from home and then you are trying to connect to a network which is outside your organization network. In that case, you may compromise the security of your data. So in those scenarios, it is very important to securely access the data using Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. I'm sure now you know what is multi-factor authentication and how it is going to help you to secure your data. But do you know how you can enable Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication? Well, if you would like to know, then you have to wait till our next video. In our next video, I'm going to let you know how you can enable Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know if you have any concern or any feedback. See you in the next video.